Howdy folks, I'm Trenton Coker. And I'm Carter Spinks, and welcome to this week's DTV News. Hey Carter, how's our cheer team doing? I heard they tried out for Allstate. You heard right, Trenton. Leslie Pierja, Cortland Sansom, and Zoe Vasquez competed and made it to all regionals and are currently awaiting results after trying out for Allstate. They have a game day at regionals on November 9th at Heritage Hall, where they will compete for a chance to qualify for state on November 15th at Moore. If you want to support our cheerleaders, show up to their competitions, 5A regionals at Heritage Hall High School in Oklahoma City. They will compete at 11.25 a.m., but the division starts at 11 a.m. Spectators should get there early around 10.30 a.m. Tickets will be sold online for $7 at the link in the description, or you can pay cash at the door for $10. So make sure you show up and show out to support our cheer team. Man, they're doing really good this year. They sure are. Hey juniors, ACTs are coming up. I know you, I know some of you guys might be nervous, but don't worry. Talia spoke to Ms. Vanderbilt about it and got some information on how to prepare. When are the ACTs? Ninth and 10th graders will take a pre-ACT that is paper pencil on November 6th. <laughs> Most of the juniors will take an online ACT also on November 6th. There are some juniors, because we don't have enough computers for all the juniors to take it at the same time, there are some juniors who will take it online on November 7th. Where students will be taking the ACT? All of the juniors will be assigned to a computer lab. I will have those lists posted in the commons outside the library, so students need to be checking those lists once they're posted to find their name and figure out where they're supposed to go they will report directly to their testing room on their testing day. What steps should students take to prepare for the ACT? Um, if you Google ACT practice test, all kinds of stuff comes up that you can, can take online. We also, on the high school's webpage, if you go to our homepage um, for Claremore High School and click on, there is a tutoring tab. It has a link in there for some ACT prep information that students can also utilize to help prepare themselves. How to reduce test anxiety and build confidence. Um, I think the biggest thing is just understanding that it's just a test. It's not the be all end all. Um, if you do get nervous and have that test anxiety, doing some relaxation techniques before you go into the test or even while you're testing, if you feel yourself getting anxious, make sure you get a good night's sleep the night before and make sure you eat something the morning of. Now you know what to do for your ACT. Check the list in the cafeteria to see where your testing room is. Freshmen and sophomores are taking the pre-ACT and will also be posted. Hey Carter, did you know that the band just ended their marching season last week? Yes, I did. I also know they had an amazing season. Jackson interviewed both of the band's drum majors about the end of their season. I feel like something that sets us apart is like we are a smaller band compared to the other bands around us. We don't have as many people, we have, don't have the same amount of funding, but at the same time we have the talent. What sets us apart is that we treat each other like a family and even though we have our ups and downs, we always come back together and we always just, we love to have fun and not a lot of bands get to say that they're good and they have fun, but yeah. <laughs> we had two that were really like, made me a little nervous. For Stallion, it would have had to have been Fort Gibson, considering they got first last year at Stallion and we got second. But we ended up pulling through and getting first. But then for OBA, I knew um, Collins will be the one to beat. It makes me so proud. Like it's just, it's, it's an honor to like be on that podium and just watching my band just perform. It's a great feeling and like it's really special that me and Sarah are the only ones who really get to see all of the hard work while putting in so much hard work ourselves. From start, it started out a little rough compared to years past, but somehow they kept working through it and it just got progressively better. And by the end of the season, it's probably one of the best marching bands I've been a part of. The high is probably OBA and just doing well there. It, I'm just proud of my band. And a low, it gets really hard to navigate like school life with social life and band. It just, it gets a lot. Wow, that sure was amazing. You got that right. Hey Trenton, how was that football game Friday? I heard it was pretty rough. Yeah, it was. Last week, our Zebras played the Dell City Eagles, who scored early with a touchdown, but we came back and scored some points on them afterwards. The Eagles have a tough defense, and we weren't able to score again all game, but in the end, we still put up a good fight. Man, that was rough. 
I'm sure we'll get him next time. Carter, did you know cross country made it to state? Yippee cross country. Yeah, they sure did. They also did an amazing job at regionals. Logan spoke to Emma Robinson to tell us more about how they made it to state. State is very important because it's the last last meet of the year, so everybody's trying to go as hard as they can, prove something, beat people that they normally don't go up against in the regular season. Like, I only went up against the Bishop Kelly girl once this year, besides regionals and one other race. So state will be our last, like, run for cross country. To qualify for the state meet, you have to either place top seven as a team. So our top five runners are scored during the meet and top seven teams go. And then it's the next, I think, I actually don't know the next amount of people, but there is an individual amount that goes. The team is pretty excited. We, our guys team, we were worried that they weren't gonna make it, but they ended up pulling it off. Uh, everybody's pretty excited. There's a lot of people that this is our first time going to state, so yeah. I'm really excited. I, I got a school record I get to beat, so yeah, it's going to be exciting. Wow, we sure do have an amazing cross-country team. That's for sure. Great job, cross-country team. Well, that's all for this week's ZTV News. Thanks for watching, and go, go Zebras! zebras.